Exercise is one of the most powerful tools for longevity. It keeps you strong, mobile, and independent. But here's what few realize. Most people train the wrong way. Science says that the real key isn't about logging more hours in the gym. It's about pushing harder, bringing more intensity to your workout. Here's why intensity beats volume every time. We all know that exercise is one of the best ways to promote longevity, but not all exercise brings the same benefit. For years, the focus has been on doing more, more steps, more time, more movement, but the new research, it tells a different story. It's not about how long you train, it's about how hard you push. Intensity, not just volume, holds the real key to staying stronger, living longer, and aging better. In this video, I'll break down how intensity impacts aging, why it beats sheer volume, and how to train smarter for maximum longevity benefits. The people who achieve the greatest success in longevity don't just watch videos, they engage, learn, and take action. That's why I created the Longevity Alliance, a free school community where you'll get access to my online courses, the foundations of longevity, and longevity interventions. Attend weekly live Q&A Zoom calls and connect with others who are actively transforming their health. It's 100% free now and forever. So if you're serious about longevity, click in the link in the description or right up here and become part of the movement today. It's pretty much a given. The exercise is one of the best things that you can do if you want to live longer, right? If it's not, it should be. But here's the thing. Not all exercise is created equal. The way that you train, how much effort you put in, and how much ch you challenge yourself all determine the kind of benefits that you'll actually get, the results that you'll achieve. For years, the advice was simple. Just move more, walk more, rack up those steps, spend more time exercising. The idea was that the more you move, the better. But newer research is flipping that idea on its head. Turns out intensity, the level of effort you put in, how hard you hit it, matters a whole lot more than just the total time spent exercising. And that changes everything. If you've been spending more hours doing slow, steady workouts, thinking that's the best way to stay in shape, well, it might be time to rethink your approach. Because it's not about how long you work out. It's about how hard you work out, how much effort you expend, how challenging it is. Now, that's not to say that total exercise time doesn't matter at all. It does. Any movement is better than no movement. But if your goal is to maximize your health, slow the aging process, and keep your body functioning at its best, then intensity needs to be the priority. And the science backs that up. The right balance of exercise doesn't just make you feel better. It actually slows down the aging process. We're talking about changes that happen all the way down to the cellular level, the kind of stuff that affects how long and how well you live. Exercise strengthens your muscle, improves your heart function, and boosts your energy. It helps your body repair itself, making your cells more resistant to damage. And when you push yourself harder, when you exercise at higher intensities, those benefits don't just add up, they multiply. One of the biggest benefits, muscle preservation. As you get older, your muscle mass naturally starts to go into decline. This process is called sarcopenia, and it's one of the fastest ways to lose mobility, strength, and independent. The stronger you stay, the more capable and active you remain, and the more functional you are. And here's where intensity comes in. It turns out that lifting heavier weights for fewer reps is far more effective at preserving muscle than lifting lighter weights for higher reps. The more you challenge your muscles, the better they respond. But muscle is just one piece of the puzzle. Your heart health is just as critical. Heart disease is still the number one cause of death worldwide. And the best way to keep your heart strong? You guessed it, push it harder. High intensity exercise does things for your cardiovascular system that moderate acti activity just can't match. It increases your VO2 max, which is basically a measure of how efficiently your heart and lungs deliver oxygen to your muscles. And studies show that the higher your VO2 max rate is, the longer you're likely to live. But it doesn't stop there. Intense exercise triggers some powerful biological processes that help keep your body young. It boosts mitochondrial function, making your cells produce more energy. It increases the release of growth factors, which keep your tissues strong and resilient. 
and it activates autophagy, your body's natural cleanup process that gets rid of damaged cellular components and recycles them, boosting cell health. Put all of that together and the message is clear. If you want to extend your health span and keep your body performing at its peak intensity needs to be your focus. It's not about spending more time in the gym. It's about making that time count. Exercise isn't just about moving your body. It's a biological trigger, setting off a chain reaction of adaptations that impact how well and how long you live. It influences the very mechanisms that drive aging. Things like muscle loss, energy production, and heart health, and cellular repair all respond to how you train. And the key to getting it right? Balancing volume and intensity. If you had to bet on one factor to predict how long you'll live, cardiovascular fitness would be a smart choice. How well your heart and lungs deliver oxygen to your body, your VO2 max, is one of the strongest indicators of longevity. And the best way to improve it? Go hard. A major review on exercise and lifespan found that people with higher VO2 max levels had dramatically lower mortality rates. Translation, those who push their heart and lungs to their limits live longer than those who stick to low to moderate exercise. This is where high intensity interval training comes in. Short bursts of all out effort force your body to adapt in ways that slow, steady workouts simply can't match. Your heart gets stronger. Your body becomes more efficient at using oxygen. Your mitochondria, the tiny little engines inside your cells, multiply and work better. And here's the kicker. You don't need hours of cardio to make it happen. Studies show that short, intense sprints do more to improve your VO2 max than a long, slow jog. It's not about time spent. It's about how hard you push. Losing muscle is one of the fastest ways to speed up aging. Weak muscles lead to poor mobility, a higher risk of falls, and increasing frailty. And once that decline starts, it can snowball really fast. Heavy resistance training is the antidote. Research shows that just one year of lifting heavy can preserve muscle strength for four years. Moderate intensity training, not nearly as effective. The reason comes down to muscle fiber recruitment. Lifting heavier weights engages fast twitch muscle fibers, the ones most prone to age-related decline. These fibers don't respond well to light weights and high reps. This isn't just about looking stronger. It's about staying functional. The ability to stand up from a chair, walk upstairs, carry groceries, that's all muscle power. Let those muscles weaken and suddenly everyday life becomes a struggle. Strength training does more than just keep you moving. It improves insulin sensitivity, helping to prevent diabetes. It strengthens bones, reducing the risk of fractures. It even boosts key hormones to keep your body feeling youthful and resilient. But it's not just about your body. Your brain benefits too. Pushing yourself in a workout releases BDNF, brain-derived neurotropic factor, a protein that boosts brain function and protects against cognitive decline. That means sharper thinking, better memory, and a lower risk of Alzheimer's. More blood flow, more oxygen, more stimulation, it all adds up to a stronger brain. If exercise is good, more must be better, right? Well, not so fast. There's a sweet spot when it comes to training. Too little, and you don't get the benefits. Too much, and you start to break down instead of build up. Studies on resistance training show that 30 to 60 minutes per week delivers the best longevity benefits. But past 150 minutes, the benefits level off. In some cases, the risk of death even increases. Why? Stress and recovery. Exercise is a stressor, a good one, if you allow your body to recover. But overdoing it can elevate inflammation, spike cortisol, and even damage the heart. That's why some elite endurance athletes develop heart conditions despite being incredibly fit. Chronic overtraining without enough recovery can backfire. The takeaway? Train smarter, not just more. Intensity gives you the best bang for the buck, but balance is everything. Push hard, recover well. That's how you maximize longevity. Like I said, Longevity-focused exercise isn't about spending a lot of hours in the gym. It's about making each of those minutes and hours count. Now, for cardiovascular fitness, you don't necessarily want to ditch long, slow cardio. It has its benefits. You'll still want to do one or two sessions per week, but 
you've got to add HIT. Two to three high intensity interval training sessions per week are enough to drive major results. Sprints are simple and effective. Run all out for 30 seconds. Rest for a minute and repeat five to 10 times. Not into running? Try cycling or rowing or jumping jacks or burpees. It's not about which exercise you do. It's about getting your heart rate up into zone four or five several times that will make a difference. It's fast, it's hard, and it works. For strength, go heavy. Two to four sessions per week with compound movements, squats, deadlifts, presses will do the trick. The goal isn't just moving weight, it's challenging your muscles. Training at 70 to 85% of your one rep max ensures strength gains, not just endurance. But here's the key. Recovery matters just as much as training. Exercise is a stressor. If you don't recover properly, it can backfire. Sleep well, stay hydrated, eat nutrient-dense foods that fuel repair and growth. Overtraining without recovery raises cortisol, increases inflammation, and can even strain the heart. Longevity isn't just about pushing harder. It's about knowing when to rest. Train smart, recover well, and watch your body get younger, stronger, and more resilient over time. The latest research on exercise and longevity makes one thing clear. Intensity changes everything. It boosts cardiovascular health, drives up VO2 max, and strengthens bone and muscle. All critical for a long, active life. But the benefits don't stop there. At the cellular level, intensity triggers autophagy, clears out damaged cells, reduces inflammation, and supercharges mitochondria. In short, it slows aging from the inside out. Daily movement is essential, but when it comes to structured workouts, short, intense sessions beat long, low-effort exercise every time. Longevity isn't about doing more. It's about training smarter. Push hard. Recover. Repeat. Make every workout count. Okay, that's it for me. I'm out of here. Check out my free school community if you'd like to learn more about human longevity. Catch you guys next time.